everyone and welcome back to It's Pouring Paint. Today I was going to do a canvas for you and I thought to myself, you know what? I am still going to do that canvas for you, but I am also going to give you some tips on how you can go about this inexpensively. So when my daughter and I started doing uh, acrylic pouring, we were doing it because we wanted to be able to give our family some gifts and I found these vases online and we do rock painting at our trailer and I had all these paints collected from doing the rock painting all these acrylic paints and I happened across mixed media girl which I'm sure you all pretty know some of her videos and it just so happened to be on a vase I think I might have been googling what to do with vases <laughs> anywho Fast forward a little bit, we bought the vases, I went to the dollar store and I bought these acrylics and they come in different colors. They're $1.25 and they're four ounces. That is really good price. And uh, they also have these deco arts and they have Americana and these little guys and they're about $2 each. And that's really good and they're metallics as well and I just love the metallics I fell in love with them instantly so anyways if you want to just start out go out get yourself some of these dollar 25 pick a few different colors you know um, you don't even have to worry too much I mean I bought a Floetrol everyone knows you need a medium or so they say actually some don't so it's it's in how you do it the quality of these acrylic paints are actually very thin to be honest with you so you if you're going for a um this is 30 32 dollars but i used zinser before that which is about 30 dollars for like less but it, it does dry a matte but it works perfectly just that and i would mix one part uh, acrylic to one part uh, zinser and the same with these guys one part to one part and i I initially was putting them in here so I would mix them up in a cup and I would stir them all up put the the zinser in or the flow trawl in stir it all up and then I would pour it into this and I loved it because we were doing vases and and uh, wine glasses and we would just pour it on and we love doing clean pours now that is all you really need to spend to start in vases or you could just walk around your house pick out whatever glass you can do it on tabletops I mean you can create on anything for very little money a buck two bucks four bucks ten bucks something like that then you have your cups you want to go out and get a you're gonna get a couple <laughs> you know you can't buy these individually some stir sticks and your medium whether it be flow trawl which can only be purchased at Dulux here in Canada for all my Canadians um, or Zinser is also in home hardware, but this is only sold in Dulux. So you buy something like that, $13 as I was doing in the beginning, and you pour to your heart's content. These things last. Regardless, they last for many, many, many different projects. So that is how I began with my daughter doing this. And we loved it so much. We had so much fun. I found a um, an ad on Canadian Tire for these wine glasses. They were beautiful wine glasses, stemless. It was like $20 for 18 of them. I bought five boxes, all right? And my daughter just played and played and played with these and loved it so much, we moved on to canvas. So that's when I started getting rid of these guys which were fairly inexpensive and I started upgrading a little bit on my paints. Here's a really good tip. I am still going to tell you how to upgrade on your paints and do it cheaply, even less than the dollar store. I am not even kidding you. First things first, get a Michaels, get the Michaels app or whatever, um, or, and sign up to their, uh, email sign it up every single day Michaels will send you an email with a percentage off for that day I always wait for 45 and up so I don't go in there if it's 
any, anything below 45. And you will find that there are several days that you can go in at 45% or 50% during the month and pick stuff up. Now, these bottles are $13, $12 and change plus tax. You go in there and you're spending $7 or something like that once you're 50. You have to do it one at a time. This does not work for people who do not have a Michaels, obviously. And for that, I'm very, very sorry. I happen to have three of them. I go to work in an area that has two and I come home and then there's one in Peterborough if I'm desperate. Usually I'll just hit the two of them where I work. So anyways, so a $13 bottle becomes uh, about seven, $8. And this is a quart, like it's gonna last you. It's lasted me forever. But that is my pillow paint. And I buy the big ones and I have to go do it again, but I look for the ads again. This deal, okay. So Michael's had a deal going on with six paints plus a, um, a painter's palette on the bottom for $24.99. Now each of these paints in Michael's are worth $5, $4.99 and up in some stores, right? These were two sets. One was the metallic, one was the primary colors. $24.99. I took in a 50% coupon. I paid $12 something like that maybe $13 I can't remember I'm terrible at that and I got them all so not only did I pay less per bottle just at the $24.99 I paid even less when I got half off and then I hit the two stores I got that and then I got that on the same day that's how I do it and therefore it becomes a very inexpensive way of upgrading to these lovely paints for less. You just have to be patient, I suppose, and lucky that you would be around. These, of course, are $10. You get your 45%, then they're $5. And these ones are eight ounces. Think about that. Eight ounces. So the ones at the dollar store, the night the metallics, are two dollars for two ounces, and this is five dollars for eight. You can't do any better than that. If you plan, you plan. This, I don't need. However, I just keep it there for for uh, whatever reasons. This, I got at the dollar store. It is just a little um, torch. Nothing big. It's about six bucks, I think, instead of going and getting a $30 one, you know, $40 one. If you're just starting out and you don't want to spend it, this works just perfect. You just go over it and so forth and your bubbles are popped so sorry about that long-winded uh, advice giving I suppose so let's get down to it oh I forgot about these I'm sorry this is the cups you kind of might want if you're just doing up small batches you're not going to use them they have lids they'll store for a while these have been stored for a week. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll be just fine, actually. Beautiful colors. So what I'm gonna do right now is take my canvas that I did the other day. It was a complete fail. I did a double dip uh, with two canvases and I didn't like it. So I redid one immediately. I kept the other. I looked at the other. I said, no, I still don't like it. So now I'm just gonna go over it because I don't like it. And I'm going to do a Dutch pour because I love them. I really do. All right. Okay, let me spread that. I did not seal this, so uh, I am at least confident of that. And if the black comes shows out, which I'm hoping it won't, but if it does, it doesn't really bother me all that much. <laughs> all right, getting my sides. You know, it is better to use your fingers. It really, really is. It, it helps it. These things, you know, don't really. All right, but it's going to do. 
So I'm going to just try and even this out somehow. Okay. There we have it. I am going to go ahead and put some more paint here. And I'm going to start my puddle. You know what? Oh, just give me a minute. I should have blown or um, probably torched it then, but I'm going to torch it in a minute. Oh, you know, I think I saw some heavy parts of that purple paint. All right, I hope this turns out nice because I really like the colors, all of them. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove all my paints because I have blown them with my hair dryer and that's not what you want. So I'm just going to remove them. I'm going to put a bit of white. There as well. And maybe a tad bit of black, although this looks really thick. All right. Now for the fun part. The hair dryer. I do love this. <laughs> Maybe it's just, oh, the torch. What am I talking about? The air, the dryer, I'm sure, is going to bring up more bubbles, but everyone does it beforehand, so I'm going to do it myself. piece of art that I did not like before I'm now <laughs> in love with do you see that I am sorry here let me just turn this around I can't believe how absolutely gor gorgeous it is I love it I love it so so much what do you think Jay I think it's beautiful Let's torch this sucker. Okay. See what it see what comes up. Wow. Wow. This might be some of my best. I don't even want to touch any of that. And I'm wondering, should I even should I try and spread this out? Should I do that? Mm -hmm. No? No. You're right. Because you know what? I am not going to do one iota to this painting. Because I think it is absolutely stunning. The only thing I'm going to do is try and fix up the corners and the white. And that is all... So, just a little here, and I think I need a little here, <laughs> and I'm good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I know I can ramble at times, but I'm telling you, you can create art like this for so little money and it brings you so joy and it's so relaxing and you get to hang it in your your place like you're an art gallery and everything people come in they're like oh wow that's pretty and you're like yeah I did that 
and it really doesn't cost you the canvases by the way if you get them at night michaels and you get the value pack i got like okay so this is the probably the nine by or eight by ten or nine by twelve and i got eight of them or, or six of them and for that it's like two three dollars each even the dollar store doesn't have canvases that have that price tag on it so watch that the dollar store is not always the cheapest thank you for joining us i hope to see you again please push the like button do a um and push the bell watch our next ones it was really good to see you see you again bye